dudes. What's up dudes? Uh, I didn't think I would ever be saying welcome back to another Wasteland Wednesday ever again. Let's go over like a few things first before we get into today's video. So as you can see right now, um, I'm standing on my own two feet. Maybe you can see, check that out. Bam, bam. Two months ago, that was not the case because two months ago, I broke my leg. I broke my left leg on a one wheel. And if you don't know what a one wheel is, there's tons of videos on YouTube, you can look it up. I had my one wheel for five days. It's basically an electric gyro board. You stand on it, it's got one wheel, and you stand on it and it goes. I fell off, did a nosedive. The last video I posted about Sportster uh, was actually some really old footage that I hadn't gotten around to editing. So, fooled ya. <laughs> so I've been doing physical therapy the last two weeks and I'm gonna be honest, I've been trying to rush through <laughs> and do the best I can with my physical therapy so that I can get back to walking, which I've done pretty well at this point. I'd say for two months in, I, I think this is normal. I've never broken a bone before, so you tell me. So let's get right into today's video. You guys know the bandit, you love the bandit. What we're gonna be doing today is I have the tail lights on the bandit. They're a really, really cheap $10 trailer light that I got from an Ace Hardware a long while back. So what I'm gonna be doing today is replacing those with something a little more solid and then making the mounts a little more solid so that things aren't rattling around because they are still going to be using a halogen old school style bulb with the filaments so they can be rattled broken. What I picked up from the cycle swap was these tail lights and I'm not sure what they're from. I think when I looked it up on eBay is like a 1930s Ford or GMC or other such old school um, automotive tail light. And I think it's pretty cool. It's got the little lens at the bottom so that you have a license plate light. And it's actually super bright. Um, it, this one in particular is in really good condition. And then he's also got one that is slightly not as good a quality, but that's perfectly fine for the wrap bike look we're going for. I think this is gonna be a lot cooler on the back of the Bandit. I'm gonna clean off my bench here from all the Honda shadow stuff, and then we're gonna get cracking on these tail lights. All right, so I pulled apart this one, and I know what it looks like on the inside, but this nastier, kind of grittier one I've yet to pull apart. It's still got part of a mount on there, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull it apart because it's kind of grungy looking. And we'll see if there's actually a light bulb in here and see what's kind of going on with this wiring too. This is where all the fun part begins because nothing is ever straightforward and simple when it comes to working on motorcycles. The light bulb is definitely very old and very different. It's just got like the single wire coming from it and the bulb itself. I've never actually seen a bulb like this. Let's see if we can. So that 1129 bulb is a six volt. That is not gonna work for our 12 volt system. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pull this piece out and gut this part, run to the auto store and um, get just a basic dual contact point. I'm hoping with a little finagling, or as little finagling as possible, I'll be able to get these lights to just kind of bolt right on. All right, so no problem at all. Got the two lead style of wire light here. Oh, f hang on, I already, I already, did I already break this? Oh no, this may not fit now because now I'm noticing the two bits on the side where like normally a light bulb locks into place are even. And on the 1157, they're offset. One's on the tall side and one's on the short side. Oh, go gosh, dang diddly do. Well, what I guess I'll do is just take a little Dremel, notch one side a little bit higher. I'll have to do it. Oh, are you kidding me? What a moron. I did the wrong freaking socket. Oh, lordy loo. All right, just kidding. We'll be back. All 
I am wrong. They are not going to just bolt on. So the screws on these lights are offset. This one actually kind of hits the frame of the bike. It's just not going to fit the way I want it to. What I'm going to do is actually take uh, an old license plate. I've, I've got still quite a few of them. I'm just going to kind of rough it up and probably black it out so it's not so obvious. Um, but this is definitely more than enough material. I'll be able to create my holes. And what's nice about the license plates too is that it's super easy to bend and work with, drill through. I love working with license plate metal. A load of sharp, you do have to be careful. Well, my dudes, I think this is going to be the end of this video. We're going to go ahead and wrap it up and call it a day. I don't quite feel like this whole light thing is finished. I think I'm going to do something on the bottom here and add something. I just don't know what yet. Let me know what you think of the lights in the comments. I think they look pretty cool. And the fact that they're like super old school lights and they're pretty ratty looking. I think it fits a lot better than those cheap plastic trailer lights for sure. It's definitely given the bend a little bit more character. And I do like that the two lights themselves are mismatched, even though they're the same kind of light and everything's really solid, so it's not going to go anywhere. And that's something I was worried about um, with the lens being glass. I did not want to lose that lens going out the freeway or a bumpy road. It took me a couple days to get this done because I didn't quite have a drill. It was a little bit of mishap and missing stuff. But if you guys want to see more rap bike videos, Wasteland Wednesdays, please do subscribe. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.